Hello, welcome to video four of seven, probably the most important video of this series of your responsive statistics or analytics. This is traffic sources. Let's get started. Like the other videos, if you've not seen them, one through three, please go back and watch those as well. At the top, we understand that we could filter our results based on the date, yesterday, week, or month, or if I want to go really in depth, I can pick by a certain date simply by clicking on the calendar. I could filter my results based on the certain device, such as desktop, tablet, or mobile, or if I want to see these all total. If I don't want to do these individually, maybe I want a combination of desktop and mobile, I can do that as well. Desktop's in blue, mobile's in yellow, and as I scroll down, I can see the results down below. I can also see these results on my right hand side. So if I don't want the desktop, I click the desktop and as you see it disappears and there is that one. But one of these has to be lit up. So I want to go directly to uh, all devices. If you have any problems understanding what any of this means, there is a little icon on the right hand side of the title or description. It's an I and it will give you information. Okay, so I'm not out of breath yet, so <laughs> let's keep going. Now let's talk about direct traffic, referral traffic, and search traffic. They're all very, very important. Direct traffic is basically when somebody directly contacts you. They go up to the address bar and they type in your, your website address, such as let's say you're a comic book store and your website is comics.com. So they would type in comics.com and they want to find you. That is direct traffic. Total referral traffic, these are links that are placed on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter, and these links lead the person to your site. That's referral traffic. And then you have search traffic, and search traffic is when somebody goes to a search engine such as Google, Bing, or Yahoo, and they find you in the search results. Now, why would search results be important? Well. If you're towards the top, if you're being visible, people will find you in search. By the way, this is a brand new site. It does take a while for you to appear up at the top of search results. So if you're one of those kind of people who feel that I want to be at the very top tomorrow, that doesn't work that way. It takes a little bit of time for these nice organic search results to take effect. This is a brand new site, so we're not going to expect too much search right now. But as a business owner, you want to keep track of what's happening here in the search. Looking at total referral traffic, this is pretty much based mostly on hard work, right? So if you're constantly posting links and having people post links for you, that referral traffic is going to go up high. This person here is placing their links a lot on Facebook and so forth, and people are coming to the website. And then direct, rep, web, uh, direct traffic basically is when people already know about your site and they're just typing it in and coming directly to it. When you're looking here at individual source details, you can see everything from the source of visitors all the way over to average visit duration. And you can also check at this by pi or by the graph itself. One thing I do want to talk about in the very last is your bounce rate. If you have a high bounce rate, that means people are coming and they're just leaving. They're not interested, but we have zero percentage, so she's getting some great numbers here. This is how you look at traffic sources inside responsive website statistics. Make sure you check out the other videos and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Thank you.